Who would have thought that this guy How you doing? would go on to become one of the highest paid people in Hollywood and even win an Oscar for Best Actor? And yet Matthew McConaughey did all of that and now he has written a book about how he did it. Green Lights is part autobiography, part self-help guide and it is already topping all the bestseller lists. So in this video I'm gonna give you my honest review and tell you if it's actually worth the read. And the first question that Matthew McConaughey answers in his book is what the hell is a green light? A green light is a sign by the universe, by God, whatever you believe in, that you should continue. You should go ahead, you should follow the path that you are on. Now there are obvious green lights, for example if you get a job that you didn't even expect to have a shot at, but then there are also green lights that are disguised as yellow or even red lights. Those are the things in life that don't seem to go according to plan. When we face challenges, when we experience setbacks or disappointments, we can feel like this is a red light, but it actually might be a green light in disguise. As Matthew McConaughey says, it is often up to us to turn these challenges into advantages. He writes that this is a book about how to catch more yeses in a world of no's and how to recognize when a no might actually be a yes. This is a book about catching green lights and realizing that the yellow and the reds eventually turn green. And you can tell from the get-go that he actually believes in that. This is what he was taught as a child, this is how he was raised and this is how he has lived his life ever since. You get to hear stories about his family, about his brothers, about his upbringing, his life in Texas as a teenager. And I gotta say, I really enjoy those anecdotes. They're entertaining, they're funny, they're well written and it really gives you an idea of who Matthew McConaughey was before he became famous. At the same time, almost all of those little stories seem to highlight certain character traits that later on would allow him to get where he is today. And you can think of Matthew McConaughey what you want, but it is undeniable that the man has lived a very exciting and very successful life so far. And I personally always find it interesting to figure out how these people became like that. So when Matthew McConaughey writes about how he built a 13 story high tree house as a little boy, or when he went to Australia for a year abroad and he was committed to staying the entire time, even though he didn't quite like it so much, to me, that tells a lot about his character. And if you are the same way, then I'm sure you will enjoy that as well. However, there are parts in this book that are a little bit less enjoyable, and that is whenever Matthew McConaughey tries to be deeper than he actually is. He calls these sections bumper stickers or note to self, and they vary between try hard life wisdom all the way to flat out cringy. Here is an example of one of those notes. Cool. Cool is a natural law. If it was cool in that time, then it is cool for all time. Cool stands the test of time, cause cool never tries. Cool just is. Now what Matthew writes here might even be true, but do I really need a millionaire Hollywood actor to tell me what it means to be cool? This is not what I was looking for when I bought this book and I really wish that McConaughey had skipped those sections. It gets even more cringy when he tries to write poems. Kiss the fire and walk away whistling. I swallow vitamins with the beer I do, chew more tobacco than I ought to. I crawl around and I chase the moon and I sleep with women who ride in on brooms, just so I can kiss the fire and walk away whistling. Oh boy. I mean, everyone can decide for themselves if they like this kind of stuff, but I started skipping those sections after a while. That being said though, I do still recommend buying this book. I thoroughly enjoyed it and I actually think Matthew McConaughey is a pretty good writer when he sticks to his autobiographical stories. He understands how to make them funny and entertaining and it is clear that this is where his true talent lies. He is a very gifted storyteller. So definitely go and buy the book if you are looking for good stories. If you want to know why Matthew McConaughey got arrested in the middle of the night playing his bongos butt naked, if you're curious how a wet dream led him to travel to South America and float down the Amazon River, if you're interested in why he traveled to Africa only to fight one of the toughest and strongest guys in a village there, 
then green lights is for you. Make sure to check it out, let me know down in the comments below what you think of it and I will see you in the next video.